late 19th century, urbanization and industrialization bring about profound changes in the eating habits and food supply of Canadians. In Montreal, public markets are built in new working-class neighborhoods. Grocery stores seem to appear on every street corner. Railways link the city to distant suppliers. The consumption of dairy products is very much affected by these changes. City dwellers purchase vast amounts of butter and cheese, enjoy ice cream as a special treat, and drink more raw milk than ever before. The principal consumers of milk are babies and small children, while adults prefer a little cream at tea time. The growth of cities also leads to numerous complaints about milk quality. Unscrupulous dealers are accused of watering down milk, then covering it up by adding other products. Furthermore, as there are fewer and fewer cows in town and in the suburbs, transportation takes longer and the risk of contamination increases. The spectacular rise in the infant mortality rate is also blamed on milk. Some people claim that milk absorbs a deadly contagion from harmful vapors known as miasma. Later, bacteriological testing reveals that milk is an excellent breeding ground for deadly bacteria such as E. coli and those causing typhoid and tuberculosis. What can be done to address the danger of raw milk? Some businesses promote new milk products. Meanwhile, hygienists and reformers launch a fight for healthier milk. Their weapons are scientific studies, the creation of dispensaries and milk stations, known in French as good de lait, the lobbying of politicians and public education. Reformers demand the inspection of dairy farms, the introduction of stricter health standards, the refrigeration of milk while in transit, and improved distribution practices. Yet these measures are not enough, and many citizens soon begin calling for compulsory pasteurization. Despite strong opposition, Montreal implements this policy in 1926. Pasteurization triggers a restructuring of the dairy industry and the modernization of plants. Companies begin to promote the benefits of pure milk and develop new products designed to attract young consumers. <laughs> 